So I do a lot of test automation tech interviews. Um, and, and years ago, I, I tried to try to make it a little bit more hands-on. Uh, I didn't want to just keep asking questions that people who'd studied jargon could just give me good answers for. I wanted to see if they could really do stuff. And so I, um, I, I, I used to do a lot of, of coding exercises. Um, but recently, I've thrown those coding exercises in the trash because, for one thing, it wasn't really testing what I was going to have people do. Um, I, I was realizing that, uh, you know, I was I was having people write a sor sorting algorithm or or tell me if these two strings are an anagram of each other, and and these days, so for one for one thing, these days you can paste that right into an in, in AI. It'll give you a passable answer. And second of all, that's not something I'll ever have them do on the job. Um, so. What am I going to have them do on the job? Well, uh, you may be a couple of, you may be a, a second tester on a team trying to figure something out. Well, um, I'll share my screen here. Um, I have a half-written uh, automation test here. What have, what have I got here? I've got some, some badly named variables. I've got, I'm kind of staggering off from the page object pattern and accessing the driver directly here. Um, as I show my candidate the, this code here, um, will they call that out? Um, you know, and if I say help them help me with this, when I, I I'll tell them that I'm having some issues here where I'm going to the third page on my badly named variable, um, and I'm having tr issues with, issues with it because my test fails half the time. Um, and yikes! Uh, what is this wait for page method? It's asleep. And I say, well, if in front of them, if I kind of tweak it a little bit and say, well, how about I wait for five seconds instead? Well, what's a good candidate going to say? Are they going to tell me some ways that I could, I could get around this issue? Um, are they going to say, oh, maybe you should try six? I've actually had both kinds, right? <laughs> now, if you ask that same person, if I ask that same person directly, they probably know deep down, oh, they'll say, oh, no, you're supposed to avoid those. But if you're, if you're doing an interactive thing with them in person, what are their instincts, right? Um, or I have um, I have a, a half finished API test here. I've got I've got some um, I've got some kind of like authorization codes just sitting out here in the open. Some people notice that and say and, and, and say that it should be put in a secrets file somewhere. That person's been familiar with it. They've they've kind of done this thing before. Um, they see my hard coded JSON here and wonder why I'm not modeling it out, right? Um, and then I can I can uncomment this here and say I'm having issues. Um, I'm having issues here because now when I run this test, uh, when I run this test, it's it's gonna I'm gonna get exceptions because photo URLs is actually supposed to be a list, and I have it in here. Um, I have it in here as a string. Now, when you, when you run that and we debug into it together, um, you know someone who's who's done this before will can see the JSON doesn't really match up with what your model looks like, and they they maybe they've seen an exception like that before. They can help me figure it out. Somebody who's tested APIs before. Will will help me figure that out on the fly. Somebody somebody who doesn't was is going to be pretty stumped, uh, you know. So if I'm so as I'm working through uh, this test in real time, can can this candidate help me uh, help me figure out what's going on and help me debug it in real time? These kind of things can be a little bit hard to contrive um, or trying to to set it up so that there's a, a bug and things like that. But um, this this is the sort of thing that that your QA candidates are really going to be doing on a daily basis. Um, they're not going to start from scratch. They're not going to write a sorting algorithm. Um, they're going to be going off of some, some previous examples. They're going, to be, they're going to be criticizing each other's code. They're going to be trying to find ways of doing things better. And if they can't tell me a better way to do what I'm trying to do here, then they're not going to get the job. How much time have I got left? All right, that's all I got.